these four wires from the factory are in a plug that goes in there. Previous owner actually did a pretty good job when the plug broke of taping them all up and getting them in there, but I really didn't like it. It's kind of wonky. I blew a fuse a couple times. So, I hopped on the internet. You had to buy the whole wiring harness just to get this. But, I asked around in the King Quad Facebook group I'm on, and a nice gentleman did some digging and found out that Suzuki shares a lot of parts with their four-wheelers and their motorcycles and their street bikes. This is for a Hayabusa, I think, or a Jixxer. One of them. Fits perfectly. Right on there. I'm pretty sure these are all hot with the ignition on, but we're gonna check. Ignition off. Nothing, nothing. Hot, hot. Interesting, so the bottom two are hot and the top two aren't. Okay, fuse is good, correct? All right, yellow and black and black and white go to that coil and go back out. Uh, the starter motor gets fed by positive and red and red and white get fed by the 30 amp main fuse. Meaning, yellow and black and black and white are grounds. Okay, got those all crimped on there. We're going to heat shrink them. These are nice waterproof connectors. What is it, dormant? Yeah, these are nice. Get that ran through, get this mounted up, and then I'll check that off the list. Can we get away with that? Okay, so this four wheeler has a plow. This is the plow frame. It's attached with basically just a bunch of bent threaded rods around the frame and I need to get it off because my foot peg's not supposed to be that way. So let's see what we can do. Oh dear. So, what am I looking at here? <clears throat> Did they, are those supposed to be nuts? Supposed to be studs? Did they thread in there? This is interesting. Look at the other side. Oh. Interesting. I need to get this off. Okay. Things are getting exciting now. Wait a second. 
is the, the plow plate welded on? Oh, the plow plate's welded on. So what are the bolts for? If the whole thing's welded in place. Great paint job in this plow frame too. By the way, really solid paint job. These kind CVK carburetors don't have a choke in the regular sense that it's a butterfly valve. They have an enrichment circuit, which is up here. The original enrichment circuits on these always get worn out. I don't know if you can see that. The threads get mangled up. People use pliers to put them in. And then air leaks around them. And it gives you a lean mixture. And it revs high. It runs hot. So what we're going to do is take the enrichment circuit out right now the choke it's actually using the plug from the Amazon carburetor and I went online and I got a new plug and we're gonna put the factory boot for the plug back on it and that'll get it all fixed up I got everything snaked through there Someone almost just got an accident. Okay. There we go. So we've got the boot, the housing, the spring, the plunger. They're all gonna go. Up there, into that, and we're gonna get it done. Okay, we've got the battery hooked up, got the choke on. I'm gonna do a quick test, make sure everything works good. Oh, just hold the battery on there. Just got the battery temporarily on there, so. These battery bolts, I'll tell you. Whatever, I'll hold it. I've been running into this lately. Sometimes it just loses spark randomly. And if I shut the key off and turn the key back on, it's fine. Okay, I lost spark now. 